hey, hey, you, you out there on YouTube, yeah, hey, my dude Chris here, yeah, my dude, he gonna lay down some knowledge on you. Now, if you're unfamiliar who I am, that's okay. This is Boston Bank Jr. right here, and he just came in to help me, you know, with this intro out. Cause, well, you know, sometimes he needs help, cause he's wicked awesome, y'all. Y'all might want to listen to this stuff, cause if you don't, I'm gonna have to get Father Flanagan and Sister Mary Catherine and pay a prayer over your soul. There, look, I said what you wanted to. Give me my beer. Guys, that one was a little off the cuff. I told Mike, you know, the owner of Boston Beer Co., because I love picking on him, calling him a hobbit and a dwarf. When I found that, it was Little Mike. And he was begging to put it in an opening or a video somewhere, and he's like, that's got to be in all my videos. So there you go, Mike. There's the first round of Little Mike. It's only going to get better from here. But with that little strange opening, guys, we are taking a look at something awesome by the Boston Beer Company today. We're taking a look at his holiday special edition. Well, limited edition, I should say. Beard oil and beard butter. Now, it's not a seasonal item. It's a tribute to Doc Holliday. And you can only buy it in a bundle, which is why I'm reviewing both together today. Because it's not like you can go to his website and buy one differently. The other thing I thought was cool is you went to a two-ounce bottle for the oil as opposed to his usual one ounce. But now, let me give you some background info on old Boston Mike and the Boston Beard Company, Okay. So I found them, actually, I found Mike in a Instagram live feed over with Beer Times with Scott. And I went, holy shit, he's from the 617, I have to support a brother. Now I brought one of his before to the channel, and take a look up top. You're going to see a card for every single beer care, skin care, hair care, whatever review we've done. You're going to see it up in there, I've got more, I just haven't shot the videos yet. And seeing how this is his year anniversary, I've got to get some more out this month. And I have to get a little bit better with little Mike. So, don't worry. You're going to see him again more. And like I said, Mike knew about it. So don't be like, oh my god, Mike, did you see what he did? Oh, I'm all butter. Whatever. All right. They are made here in, you know, the USA out of Boston, Mass. Now, like I said, this is his year anniversary. He was founded November 2018. Now, Boston Mike, well, it's not his name, Boston. But you ever know how some people are like, hey, yeah, you know that dude from Chicago? Or, you know, hey, that guy from West Virginia, eh? Ooh, yeah, he's weird. Or, you know, like my boy, you know, Bearded Motivation from Minnesota. Yeah, Minnesota. How you're always related to, like, that town you came from and whatever. I mean, Mike's a cool dude, but everyone just calls him Boston Mike. <laughs> you know, and he's going to kill me for this? I don't care. Oh, look, we found a life-size replica of him. Ooh, <laughs> Couldn't hold that one in any longer, Mike. I'm sorry. You can find them over at www.bostonbeardcompany.com. Don't worry, I'm going to leave that down below in the description area. All right, now Mike, he's done things that like a lot of other small batch guys have done. He used a lot of products from some big name companies and some small name companies. And, you know, he found he was really, really picky what was going on his face, which is weird considering he's an Italian from a mostly, you know, Irish town, but... Hmm. Mike's getting picky about facials. Mm. Ooh. Uh, I can't resist. He's going to kill me. I don't care. But, so, he wasn't happy with that stuff, so he decided to create his own products. All right. Now, I love the fact, I would love to say that, you know, they're not animal tested, but once again, they're tested on Mike, so you take that for what it's worth. I want to see someone call PETA and have to have Mike carted off on a little kitty cart, you know, a little cat carrier. Let me out. Let me out. Uh, I'm okay. I test my own self. <sighs> it's one of those days. Sorry, Mike. But what I really respect about him is he is his own worst critic. Seriously. Like, Holiday, I've been hearing about it for a year, and he scrapped it a couple different times because he wasn't happy with it. And, you know, he just brought it out, and my God, it's awesome. So if he's not happy with it, like I said, he's just going to scrap it. He's going to start over. He's going to start over. He's going to just keep going and going and going. Now, what I think is cool, and I checked this morning, and I'm filming this on November 9th, 2019. This was still available in the, I believe it was the limited edition tab on his web store. So you're going to get a two ounce oil and a two ounce butter for 34 bucks. And that's a hell of a freaking deal. 
Not to mention, I believe Mike's got some kind of promo going on because it's his year-long anniversary. So you might want to look into that. You might be able to save yourself a little bit more. And like I said, it's a great tribute to Doc Holliday. I mean, seriously, once you smell it, you sit and you go, oh, yeah. Now, the scent profile, and this is what kills me, it is one of the most extensive scent profiles I have ever put on my face or smelled. Gunpowder, cedarwood, amber, pipe tobacco, leather, and black pepper. I mean, you just, seriously, you always got to shake it up, make sure you know everything's settled. That way it just gets remixed up. Once you smell it, it's just, my God. I, 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 I think Bearded Motivation said it best on its release day. He needs to rename it just M-A-N, MAN. All in capitals, because it's just, it's an essence of manhood in there. You know, you can just smell that and be like, I'm your Huckleberry. I'll play for blood. Why Johnny Ringo? You know, and yes, I just watched Tombstone earlier, and I'm serious. The one with Kurt Russell and Val Kilmer is like, that's Doc Holliday. Not the other one that had Kevin Costner in it. I think, what, Randy Quaid was Doc Holliday? Nah, Val Kilmer was Doc. But... Now, the ingredients, and we'll get to all the other fun stuff here in a moment, too. The ingredients for the oil are Mike's blend of argan oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, essential, and fragrance oils. Now, with the butter, and, you know, there's what it looks like. I haven't used it that much because I love it so much. I don't want to overuse it and be, like, sick of it. The ingredients in there are beeswax, shea butter, coconut butter, argan oil, <sighs> Grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, and a... Jesus Christ, son of a bitch. I tightened it a little too much. I just cracked the freaking lid. Dumbass. Essential and fragrance oils. Now, here's the fun stuff for me, okay? All those stuff in there are healthy. All those stuff in there are great. Now, if you're unfamiliar how to use both, I'm going to give you a quick rundown, all right? For those who care, and it really doesn't matter worth a crap, there's the coloration of the oil. All right, it's got a great golden tinge to it, and there it is right there. I call that about a medium oil. It's not really heavy, it's not really light, it's that perfect match right in between. Now to use it, you get whatever amount you need inside that little eyedropper top that you just saw and dispense it right into your hand. Everybody uses a different amount, all right, seriously. Everyone uses a different amount. There's some people who go just put a little dot on each little finger tab, rub it up and down, you're done. There's others who are like, man, I use like four eyedropper tops full and I just slop it all in there. Find what works for you. All right, beard oil has three huge benefits. Number one, it's a vitamin supplement for your skin underneath your beard. Believe it or not, beard oil is more for your skin than it is for your beard. Your beard... It needs to be nourished. It needs to be hydrated. It needs to be healthy. If you ever go like a week without showering, you're going to notice that this, your head hair, is greasy as all get out. Or this is dry. It's brittle. It's bird's nesty. It breaks. It's rough. It's ah. Your beard hair grows differently than your head hair does. So it needs hydration. It needs nourishment. It needs all this wonderful stuff. Beard oil is great for that. Number two, it softens your beard up. All right. I don't know anybody who wants to get up close to someone that feels like a cactus or a cheese grater or a Brillo pad. Your better half is going to give you the Heisman, you know, that whoo, and block you off. And number three, that scent profile is going to linger in your beard and make you smell good. The couple times that I've used it, it's lasted before my nose went blind to it, six to eight hours. And that's with, you know, the first time I heavily, heavily, heavily tested it was a night before I went out drinking with friends and got hammered and got up the next morning. And I was like, fingers to the beard, does it feel bad, does it feel whatever? And no, it felt nice, it still felt beautiful. Mike just has this stuff with his oils that once you try them and you use them, you're going to know what they are. Okay, now for the beard butter. Applying it's real simple, all right? It's like you would apply with balms or other butters whatsoever. Take your finger. What I usually do is use a fingernail's worth right there. Just get it in, you know, peel it up. Okay, hopefully I can show you this with no problem with the lights. See, it's already breaking down, just being right across my hand. So there we go. So we got one, two, and it's gone. 
But basically, you just rub it together, like you would with oil, bombs, whatever, and you work it into your beard. Now, butter has some incredible stuff for it. It's basically nourishment for your beard. It's going to provide a light hold for your beard. All right? It's not like bombs, which are going to lock you in place. <laughs> you know, that's what they're designed to. This is basically... God, how can I put it? It's almost like that step between an oil and a bomb. It's a good mix of the both. It gives you the nourishment and the holding factor, but it does a little bit better work in there. And plus, adding that set profile, ugh, adding that set profile back in, yeah, lunch is still coming back up, but still. Adding that set profile back in is just great. Yeah, I know I'm stuttering a little there because I'm trying to get head back, you know, right back in the game. <clears throat> but I hope all that made sense, all right? I promised Scott when um, the release party went, he was like, hey, when he gave a giveaway, you know, he was like, hey, whoever wins this you know, needs to do a video. And I was like, I already bought, I'm doing a review anyway. So see, Scott, I'm a man of my word. It just took me a little bit longer to get this out than I would have liked because I've just been backed up with some certain areas. And honestly, yeah, I've been trying to figure out how to work Mike into a video. Because he's wicked awesome, y'all. Wicked awesome. It's a wicked pisser. He's going to kill me for that. But anyway, I want to know your guys' questions, comments, you know, <laughs> love, and go whatever down below in the comment section. I know this one's a little bit different than we've usually done because I feel like it can be a little bit I don't know, a little bit more out there with Mike because he's got a great sense of humor and he's probably going to laugh his ass off. If he's pissed, he's just going to cut me off from his products and, well, hey, my loss, right? But Mike wouldn't do that because he's cool for a little, like, four foot one freaking cannoli. <laughs> uh, he's going to kill me. I don't care. But anyway, I'd love to know if you guys have used Boston Beer Company before. Have you had successes with them? Have you had failures with them? You know, what's your experience, especially if you've bought Holiday? Because I got to tell you, honestly, it has moved right up the charts to one of my all-time favorite sets, period. And I was very, very surprised to see it was still out there without a sold out on his website today. Very surprised. But with a lot of fun stuff being said, for you first-time viewers of the channel, once again, I want to say thank you so much for watching this very, very weird one. I know with the opening and everything else, just having a little fun with Mike with his blessing. So, you know, it's not like anyone's got to get all triggered and butt hurt over this, right? So, for you first-time viewers of the channel, didn't do it at the beginning. And you long-time viewers as well who haven't subscribed yet, why not? Here's a great chance for you guys. Look right down there, Okay. Oh, sorry, right down there. Should be a big channel symbol popping up. Go ahead, click on that thing. It should bring you right to subscribe. After you've gone ahead and done that, please destroy the bell icon that's right next to it. Why? Great question. Because it's going to notify you, my amazing viewer, every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of those videos, two are going to be popping up over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my catalog that they think are going to be a great viewing experience for you. Now, for myself and from Little Mike, I want to say thank you all so much for watching this weird, weird review of holiday oil and butter. And I hope all of you have a great one today.